Hi everyone! Playing online games nowadays has become a trend. As a casual gamer, I still prefer playing in the same room together with a family member or friend. I really enjoy playing couch co-op games especially during my free time. So today, I'm gonna share the different ways on how you can connect the Xbox wireless controller to your Windows 10 PC. Let's start! First, let's update the controller to its latest firmware. Go to your search bar, type in store and open the Microsoft Store. In the Microsoft Store, you need to search for Xbox Accessories app. Click on the app and download it for free. After downloading, launch the app. It will now prompt you to connect your Xbox controller. Plug in your USB Type-C cable and connect it to your PC. You will know if the connection is successful if you can see a stable light on your Xbox button and you can see that the app is now loading your controller. Once successfully connected, just click the three dot button and follow the steps there to update the firmware. Now we are playing using the USB cable connection. Let's go to our second method which is Bluetooth connection. Here, you'll need to use the two AA batteries that came with the controller or Eneloop AA batteries. If you don't want to use AA, you can opt to have the Xbox rechargeable battery pack which you can purchase separately. This pack utilizes the USB cable charging. Just a disclaimer, you cannot charge your AA batteries by using its USB. Turn on your PC Bluetooth connection. Press and hold this wireless button for 3 seconds to activate its pairing connection. The blinking lights signal that it is ready for pairing. Your PC should automatically connect the controller via Bluetooth, but in case it's unable to, you can manually add a device to connect it. Once the light is now steady, it means you have successfully connected it. Now, we are playing using the Bluetooth connection. The third method is by using the Xbox proprietary wireless adapter for Windows 10. Plug it in your PC, press the adapter button, and blinking light should appear. Press and hold the wireless button of the controller. Once the light is steady for both controller and adapter, it's good to go and you can now play wirelessly.
You may connect up to 8 devices with this adapter and enjoy playing with your family and friends. Now we are playing using the controller wireless connected to the adapter. In case your PC does not support more than one audio output, you can follow these steps. First, you'll need a third-party mixer app. I recommend the voice meter. You can download the free software from their website and just run it on your PC. Next, manage your sound settings and enable the voice meter input. Go to the sound mixer options and check if the output selected is voice meter. Connect the headphones to their respective controllers and make sure that these are wirelessly connected to the adapter. Lastly, open the voice meter application, go to your hardware out settings, and assign your headphones accordingly to A1 and A2. Double check if you have assigned it properly. Click the menu and restart the audio engine to update the settings. Anytime you make changes with your earphones and audio settings, be sure to always restart the audio engine. Now you can enjoy the earphones plugged into your controllers. Thanks for watching and please always be safe. Till the next video. Bye.